if I brought that team. Any girl you want, brought my team. Flyweight division matchup. is palpable as this fight gets underway and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all and in those situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out working off his back here looks like he may try to hip escape oh reversal here dc what a way to switch the position fantastic movement by the bottom fighter so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, he's got every choke in the book trying to set one up here. Escape, escape, escape. Oh, wow. guard oh nice job using his strength there to posture up we'll see what he can do now he's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top oh and he's back up again beautiful strike just missed with that right hand Just over two minutes to go. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Big knee there to the chest. He loaded up there on that high oh. kick. Under a minute to go in our opening round. That was Randy Queen. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Come on, man. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And they separate. To the head. Oh, nice high kick. Right punches there. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, let's get to round two. Blocks the strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Ooh, what a punch. See if he can finish. Oh! All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. I mean, this guy is real. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the tie. 
takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent this? You got to be so aware defensively because if you got his foot on the hip and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt, he's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. I'm trying to So 33 total strikes have now landed for Davis and Figueredo. Well, the accuracy, as you see there, just 32% tonight against Davis and Figueredo. Big kick lands. Leg kick. Another leg kick lands. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to throw. Let's finish this fight. Oh! Offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five months. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Moving into the last round, I need more takedown. I want you to win. Ready? Ready? Third round underway. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus fits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being... Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big head kick lands. Oh, straight right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stage. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Blocks that strike. Oh, nice elbows by him now. Insane to see a guy. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a block. Shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush 
than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, this time. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win.